So a big reason why a lot of people like the Android operating system more than iOS is because of the additional freedom and that our applications have. It was originally with, we can have two applications running at the same time. And then it got to stuff like floating windows and split screen. Android has always had, the applications have always had more power than more control over what we can do with the software than iOS. And now iOS has been catching up. They finally started letting people change their keyboard and all that stuff. But to have Android give their apps that much power and control, that also means these applications may not be coded properly and optimally, and that can turn into a lot of battery usage. And Android has had some complaints about battery usage. So late last week, there was this news story about um, a Huawei phone cutting off and closing down the VLC media player application while it was in the middle of playing the song. Now, Huawei is known for being very aggressive in their battery saving department and VLC got mad so they banned VLC banned any Huawei phone from downloading that application from the Play Store it's well within their right they don't want to have any kind of poor um, experiences and ratings from that so that's why they did it now, all, all, almost all Android applications have these type of uh, battery saving measures. Like, like some like Huawei are a lot more strict and others are a lot more lenient, but they're still there. So today, I wanna show you how to prevent this from happening, to prevent the Redmi 5 and the Redmi 5 Plus on an MIUI from closing any application, any of your important applications from being closed in the background. I personally do this for things like email, social media applications, and media applications. Because if I get a notification from a friend or an email from work or if I'm playing something in the background, I want to hear that and get those in the messages immediately. So we're going to do that with the Redmi 5 and the Redmi 5 Plus right now. So to start, we're going to open up the settings application. From here, we're just going to scroll down a bit. to the system and device section. And then we're gonna have an option here called battery and performance. Now we have three options here, battery usage, which we can analyze our battery usage. Scenes where we can apply different power uh, uh, saving strategies for different scenes. But we're going to choose on the choose apps option right here, right in the middle. This is gonna give you all of the installed applications that we have on the Redmi 5 or Redmi 5 Plus. So like I said, I want my media applications, such as VLC, to never get cut off in the background. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna tap on VLC And I'm going to choose this top option called No Restrictions. Now, as you can see, there are three other battery optimization options here. They each do something different. And I, I honestly do recommend that you experiment with these 
to find out which one works for you. I'm, I don't put this many applications on no restrictions, so I'm completely fine with having my important applications on no restrictions. So once I have VLC on no restrictions, all we gotta do is go back, and then we're gonna go through and any other thing. So if I had Gmail on here, I would go through and make sure Gmail would be set to no application, no uh, restrictions. So we always get that email notification. You see we have WhatsApp here. WhatsApp is a very popular messaging application that I use a lot. Again, I'm just going to tap that, set it to no restrictions, and then it will always give me that notification as soon as it comes in and it will never be late. And we can see the custom apps that we have up there as well. And that's it. It's as easy as that. That is all you have to do to prevent MIUI on the Redmi 5 and Redmi 5 Plus from cutting off and closing applications in the background.